guys, so here is the video of how I made these DIY critter windows on a budget. Okay, I know, boring stuff first, but cover everything up because there is going to be a lot of dust. These dust sheets are super cheap and they're just from Tool Station. So originally I was going to attempt to knock the wall down myself, but it turns out it was a solid brick wall, not a timber wall. So I actually hired in a builder to do this for me. Now I stuck around to lay before him to take all the bits out to the skip with my friend. This was really just to keep costs down. Now the price of having the wall taken out, the middle section built and having it plastered by this guy altogether cost £315. And while he was plastering it, I went off on a little mission. Now, I thought I was going to have to order this glass in, but I turned up at a local glass cutting place and he had the glass in stock there and then and he cut it for me while I waited. The lovely chap even put it in the car for me because I was on my own. Now, after a couple of days, once the plaster had dried, I used a sander to sand it. This is just a Milwaukee sander. And then once I was happy with the finish, I then went and primed my walls just with some old paint I had left over. Now, you don't need to buy paint, especially for fresh plaster. You can just add some water to some regular emulsion and let it soak in. Now I gave my walls one coat of this. You can do one coat or two, um, it's totally up to you. But because I was lime washing my walls, now lime wash is just a type of powdered paint, I then did another coat of this on top, but without the water. Now I then went and picked up the wood for the frame and I got this from Wix. And I think a 10 pack cost around 36 pounds. This is the size I went for. Now you need to calculate enough frame for both sides. So you need to frame each side of your glass. Now you need to then take your measurements. Obviously everyone's measurements are going to be different um mark it out where you want to cut it and then using a mitre saw i just use this evolution mitre saw it's pretty cheap i'll link it below i think it was about 100 quid from tool station now even though it's a mitre saw i'm not doing mitre cuts with it i'm just doing straight cuts because that's just how I wanted my frame to look. But if you want mitre cuts, there's no right or wrong way. Um, you can have mitre cuts in the corner. So I went from top to bottom on my verticals and then my horizontal frame slotted in between the two vertical frames like so. Now, the reason I did mine this way is because at one point I was going to have a black frame, but I changed halfway through and I actually painted the frame the same colour as my wall. So I just popped my frames in and I drew a line all around the frame like this so I knew where to paint my walls because each side of my wall is a different color there comes mum telling me i've got a hair in my paint so this is lime wash paint it's i don't make things easy for myself do i this paint has to be applied with a paintbrush all over it and it's just um just gives a cloudy finish it's really nice i like it now the stickers on the wood was a right beep to get off so if you're having trouble with these stickers just use a hair dryer and they come off a dream now whilst my walls were drying i used my sander again just to sand the wood sand the edges and then i did like the long edges that would be forward facing just to give it a slightly beveled edge like so now i did also number all my pieces of wood just so i knew where they went because each one was a different size i then used a level and a nail gun i also put no more nails on the back of my frame as well just to keep it really secure uh, the nailer i'm using is an 18 volt nailer by ryobi i will link it below as well now, once one side of my frame was on, only one side, I used this double-sided sticky foam tape to line my frame. Now, I purchased this from the same place that I got my glass. Um, I just bought a roll of it, and it's just basically to make sure that when my glass is in, it doesn't rattle around. So I've peeled the back of the sticky foam tape off, and now I'm just sticking my glass in. This was also really handy because I was on my own That once the glass was in place. It then kept it there for a little while while I secured my back frame to the wall. Now, if you look closely here, you can see that I've also got a strip of the sticky foam tape on the frame I'm putting on the wall now. So there needs to be some of it on each side of the frame, if that makes sense. And exactly the same way as I did the front frame, I used my nailer and my no more nails to secure the frame in place, sides and top and bottom. Now, the glass is all in, the frame's in, time for the fun part. So this is aluminium window lead and it's from ebay i will link it below now mine is the 12 mil thickness but you can get whatever thickness you want oh i also forgot to tell you you need to paint the back of the frame as well so once the frame's on the wall to secure the glass in place you need to paint that the same color as the wall as well so i just lined all my glass so the top the sides um with the aluminium tape i then used a laser level now mine's from milwaukee but you can use whatever laser level you like this one's pretty handy because it's got a magnetic strip on the back 
back. So I was able to stick it to my oven when doing my horizontal lines. Now I went for one horizontal, no, sorry, one vertical line on each pane and three horizontal lines. I did mess about with this a bit before I made my decision. Um, I tried one, I tried four. I went with three in the end as I thought that looked best. Now, if you use my link below to buy the tape, you will get this free tool with it. Now I would suggest using the long edge when you're flattening out your tape, because if you use the short edge, it can slide off and mark it. Now there should also be a small gap where you used your phone tape in between your frame and your glass so you can tuck the edge in like that so everything is nice and neat. And that's it. And this is the finished result. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's probably the best thing I've ever done. Probably my favourite DIY today. I would absolutely love to know what you all think. Let me know. And if you've got any questions, just shout.